your uh, de season debut the other night? Uh, it felt good. Uh, nice to finally be out there playing with the guys and uh, feel like uh, we got a good thing going there in the line and felt like a good game. We'll go next to Ted Wyman from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Ted. Hey, David, we had heard that you'd suffered an injury in Sweden playing and then a bit bit limited in training camp. How difficult was that for you to deal with and trying to get back to this point? Uh, yeah, well, it's always difficult when you have an injury and especially at the start of the season and especially during training camp because you, I mean, you want to get here and like show, show to the coach that you want to play in the team. So that was hard. Uh, but I feel like now when... Uh, it's all healed up and rehabbed. I feel like uh, I had a good chance to show that I was supposed to play here. We'll go next to Kelly Moore from CJOB. Go ahead, Kelly. Hey, David, kind of a two-part question for you here. A, how different is your mindset coming into your second year here in Winnipeg? And uh, what's your thought? Uh, you just mentioned you felt pretty good with the line mates you had. How different is that from the different lines you played on last year? Uh, well, the first question, um, I feel like uh, I have a better mindset this year. I mean, last year I was just, it's always tough for your first year, the rookie year. I was like mostly here to learn and uh, no, I was didn't really expect that I was going to take a spot on the team. This year I, you know, I've learned my stuff and uh, now I know that what I what I have to do to be an NHL player. And uh, yeah, second question, I felt like... Um, Felt like our line had a good chemistry. I mean, I like Hark Speed on the left side, and he always wins pucks. And uh, I like Louis. He's like he's the veteran of the line, and they help help uh, me and Harks out. And we'll go back to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Weaver. David, what was the most important lesson you learned playing with the Manitoba Moose, where you had so much uh, responsibility and ice time? Uh, well. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's hard to transition from the European style of hockey to the uh, North American style of hockey, and that's probably it's probably been the biggest uh, challenge for me. And I feel like my time in the Moose really helped me out a lot with uh, making that transition from the European style of hockey to the Canadian style of hockey. Because when I was on the Moose, I got a lot of ice time, and uh, it's a fast game, so. I got a lot of time to really work on that transition from the European style. And last question to Kelly Moore from CGOB. Go ahead, Kelly. Yeah, David, just to expand a little bit on Trevor Lewis. Uh, there were a couple times uh, during the game uh, the other night where I, I saw him talking with you. Uh, how valuable are those conversations uh, from a guy who has two Stanley Cup rings in his uh, on his resume? Uh, it's really valuable. I mean, that helps you out a lot, makes you, whenever he talks to him and it helps you out, it makes you a lot more calm during the game because uh, sometimes we young guys can get a little too fired up and uh, he helps a lot. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it just gives you confidence whenever he complimenting you or whenever he says there's something else you got.